Hello there, so it's Saturday, I won't say it's morning because it isn't, it's uh, nearly 20 past 7 on the in the evening. <laughs> uh, I've only just uh, got to sit down and do some stuff, I've edited some videos from the other channel, um, I've made them into time lapse videos, just so I can clear the files from my computer. Um, so I've done a time lapse video, that monster drawing I did on this channel, and the Stormtrooper helmet one I thought I'd just clear them files by making them into a time lapse video for my Draw Fantasy Art channel. So cleared a bit of space there and just cleared a bit of stuff on my computer as well. Right, this is a commission, but I don't know, this probably won't be the final sketch. This is Dr. Freudstein from The House by the Cemetery. I don't know if it's a really old Italian horror film. Uh, I've got this commission to draw him. Um, maybe just his head and maybe his hands in there, or one of his hands, because you know he's only got one hand uh, for most of the film. Um, a classic Italian film, Lu Lucio Fulci. <laughs> classic uh, 80s horror films, um, you know, that I remember watching. Um, you know, just classics. So I've got this commission to draw Dr. Freud Stan. And yeah, I'd like to draw more of this stuff as commissions because it's just really good ideas and stuff and things like that. So like I said, the won't be, um, this won't be the final drawing, I don't think. I think I need to do another sketch. I just wanted this to be my sketchbook because I, re I remember this film from years ago when I first watched it. I haven't watched it since, to be honest, but um, it's just made me remember it by getting this little commission so um, yeah I'm going to redraw it obviously it's got like a, a rotting type head and things like that and so yeah the colours will be like a, a muted yellow if I remember uh, that bloody dog shuts up I don't know um, yeah <laughs> There's more drawing to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. So this is a basic, uh, and I mean basic, quick sketch of a toxic zombie. I want to redraw a few drawings, like I said, um, that I've done in the past in video. And I really want to change this one up. It might not stay like this. I'm just getting into the um, sort of the swing of things where... Um, I'm trying to sketch ideas that I've already drawn really. Um, I think there was a biohazard design on the front. Uh, I can't quite remember how that goes, so I'll have to Google that. But yeah, I want to draw, you know, like redraw some ideas and try and make them better. Like I did with that monster drawing, that was the first video in this. It's sort of like a redraw series. I need to cre create a playlist and then maybe do. Yeah, that's what I could do, yeah, I could do the old video, then the new video in the playlist, and it'll be like old and new, old and new, going all the way down, so, you know, it can be like, um, it'll be just interesting just to show uh, the progress and, you know, the way that I've developed the idea um, from the original idea, and, you know, it's just a thought, really, because back when I was drawing stuff like that before, um, I, th I think my art was good, but it's improved a bit better since, especially like the initial sketch um, things and stuff like that, and me actually planning out drawings now and things like that. I think I'm getting slightly better at drawing. Still have to learn a few more things, like I really want to get into drawing uh, perspective and a lot more figure drawing, so I'll be doing that. So really with this toxic zombie I wanted to try and go for like the bloated melting look this time which I didn't really do in that original drawing um, something to compare it to is when the original Robocop uh, when all that toxic waste gets on all that uh, bad guy and he's 
he's like walking through the streets like with a big hunchback he's like, help me and he's melting you know like that's the kind of look i want to go for um with this toxic zombie so it isn't like the final drawing this but it's just like a little sketch and he's going to be missing one arm or half an arm uh, it's, oh, it's probably just melted off just vaporized with the toxic waste I don't know <laughs> anyway yeah so that's one sketch in progress and one video in progress um, hopefully in the future uh, maybe next week hopefully uh, we'll see because I've got other ideas for different videos I've still got that zombie Deadpool to try and have a go at um, still working on a few more sketches just to get it right because that first one I did didn't really didn't want really I, I don't know I didn't like it so back to the drawing board yep yeah, so that's one video coming up so this is the book that I've had for quite some time uh, about three years uh, I've read through it numerous times uh, but I haven't actually tried anything within the book um, it's called Vanishing Point Perspective for Comics from the Ground Up it's a really great book actually you can just learn how to draw um, perspective in comic books but it can be applied to any drawings or illustrations really um, so it's got like all the points of perspective which I never really knew about until I got this book obviously so it's got all the contents there you know explaining about perspective one point perspective two point perspective three point perspective five point perspective four point perspective and you know other little tips and tricks um yeah so i'm going to go through this book over the next few few months and try and draw some like illustrations but in like perspective and just let it really go through some of the um sort of maybe i'll pick a couple of um scenes like maybe draw a scene in two point perspective or something uh but maybe try and come up with me with my own sort of scene or something like that and just have a go because it's something that i've sort of distanced myself from but i realize the more i draw i need to include this in my drawings really and as well as learning about figure drawing and stuff which I've got all the books on that as well so I just thought I'd sh quickly show you that book and that's what I'll be working from to draw some different type of stuff with perspective and all that jazz so yeah that's what's coming up yeah well it's now Sunday morning and it's about half eight and I woke up but this is nowhere of a lie. I woke up to the sound of a pigeon and it was going woo hoo hoo woo woo but it sounded like it said wake up Wayne wake up <laughs> so here I am I woke up <laughs> so we're all tired but ah well so thanks pigeon you woke me up uh maybe for some cosmic reason to get on with this vlog so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and sketch a better version of that uh, Dr. Freudstein from the house by the cemetery now, I think it's head and shoulders type thing I'm going to Maybe put his stumpy hand somewhere there. I may redraw this again, I just don't know, to be honest. Try and get the shape of his head. looking mouth and flesh and skin and stuff 
got no nose, it's almost skull like. Even the eyes look, look like they've been gouged out, but there is eyes there, I think. Like eye socket things. And then he's got this. Uh, I've got the collar for this thing, it's like um, an old doctor's type uniform. Buttons and stuff. This may not be the final design. I might have some other ideas. Just waking up, just drawing. That's the basic sketch, but I do think it should be holding a knife or something. Um, hmm. Just did a, a quick rough sketch of, a, of his hands, sort of out, outstretched, out of the one obviously off the page, but yeah. Trying to play different ideas out and stuff like that, I don't know how to do a close up of the head or do a, like a, a full body sketch of the character I just don't know I'll just see, I think I'll have a coffee so I'm quickly sketching a zombie Deadpool again just to get an idea because I definitely want to do this video um, I want to try and I don't know, just create this, uh, I'm going to do half, I think half of his face and then maybe the mask is just on this portion of the head maybe and here probably that's the eye thingy And then this side of the face is just all a mess. <laughs> and it's got bits of the costume on and but maybe it's all in rags sort of thing. So I've got his legs here which have sort of thinned and also his arm's a bit of a mess few ribs showing, who knows. Oh, he has like a utility belt, and he let me put some 
things there. anyway just trying to get an idea for the, the character and I did a little head here just a close up shot with the top of the mask just uh, showing there and the rest just all ripped off just to show it's got like zombie teeth and you know a really rotten looking face I think we can I think we'll get in there with the zombie Deadpool. I've had to do a few drawings like this just to try and get it into my head. It's mainly the costume that I wanted to try and, you know, get, uh, you know, with bits like these bits at the sides and stuff like that. And the rest is like red and then I can just rag it all and make him make the drawing like a bit more ragged because he's a zombie after all Maybe dripping with blood and flesh also I want to get the pose right as well I, mean, I, th I think it's already him just standing there but maybe he has to have like a, some kind of pause um, instead of just a, a normal stance like that. So yeah, zombie Deadpool still sketching here and there just to try and find um, a design I like and then I can begin like a drawing video of this. So the day goes on, continually trying to sketch some stuff. I'm going to do one, another one of these template drawings uh, where I draw stuff in the circle. Um, it's a good exercise to try and, I don't know, just draw something um, that could be within this circle. Um, let's just lower it slightly, the camera. There we go. And now I did one of these before. Uh, let me show you. There, I did that. Um, I'd like to do something similar, but something different, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, I was thinking about a skull right at the centre. go from there now um, this will be the 66th uh, day that I've done these daily art vlogs I missed a few days uh, Saturday wasn't good yesterday because I started vlogging past seven o'clock in the evening and by then it's movie time I watched that pixels and that was that was quite funny actually I like that one Mainly because it's like uh, it's like an 80s reference back to the old games in the 80s, like Pac-Man, Gallagher, Centipede, and things like that. Classic arcade games I used to play. I mean, you know, 
kids was watching it while my daughter just uh, lost interest. <laughs> but my son watched it and we both laughed at it sometimes. It was a quite good film. Yeah, so that's... Saturdays is usually a, a bit of an awkward day because I'm busy spending time with kids and we have like a movie night as well so I try and do a bit and then just carry that bit bit of vlogging over to today on the Sundays and just I do that really so Saturdays is a bit of a difficult day to vlog Um, so this skull, I want there to be loads of these tentacles, just obsessed with tentacles for some reason in my drawings, but I try and do loads, all going out to the edges of this circle. It's almost like a Medusa skull. I suppose but then uh, these tentacles will probably come from his mouth and all sorts so have his mouth open like that so yeah um, it's a good idea to try and draw within um, shapes sometimes like this because you can, I don't know, for some reason it's like drawing them sketch cards that I did, you, you're drawing in like a, a tight area, you know, just an area of focus sort of thing, so you seem, you seem to draw um, better stuff sometimes I've found, um, like little micro ideas if you know what I mean. Um, so that's really what I'm trying to do and I could probably do a series of these but what I think is amazing that I've done I've created lots of drawings in these daily art vlogs and it looks like I've been quite productive even though I haven't finished the artwork it's it's been a fun time drawing stuff and creating stuff Now just seem to come up with different ideas and stuff. Some some have worked and some haven't. But it's been really good to try and do these vlogs and try and keep up with them. So the background will be like black in all these bits and then loads of slime and other stuff and maybe um, some kind of white dots to look like stars or something, I don't know. Something crazy. I just found uh, drawing this type of stuff relaxing sort of thing. <laughs> just, just good to draw. Might have eyes or I might not, I don't know. We'll decide that when I ink it. Uh, he's got enough of them tentacles. I can start to ink this now. I'm going to use a classic new brush pen because I love these. They're the pigment brush pens that I bought. They're just amazing. 
and I've been using them quite a lot. And I find if you do a nice rough line like that, it looks even better than like a smooth looking line. quickly decide now whether it will have eyes, I don't know, possibly leave the eyes in for now. So I've drawn the initial outline there. I want to try and fill in a lot of the black area in the background as best as I can with this thick marker. I can clean up areas later on that are a bit, you know, like uh, rough around the edges. Just want to get most of the the black areas in the background. using that template as a sort of guide just to draw these shapes. I think it might be a good idea to explore different shapes uh, to draw within. Um, maybe like rectangles and stuff. Maybe get like a, um, a butter tub or something and draw around that and try and fit that, you know, some kind of drawing in that space. I don't know, just do different stuff like that. Mixing it up a bit, it always helps your artwork really. Does when I'm drawing anyway. So. Yeah, so I try passing on like little tips here and there. Um, what I find works and stuff and drawing within these shapes really is something that does help with ideas. So I'm trying to be as careful as I can with the you know ink. I don't go over any lines but I can clean them up anyway. Missed a bit there. And I can go right to the edges with a, another ink pen another time sort of after I've done this, I don't know so I said something earlier on about a coffee, uh, I still haven't gone for that coffee <laughs> um, been too busy I'm going to have some breakfast though so been drawing for about an hour Like the main black areas done there. Um, what I'm going to do is just 
concentrate on filling in a lot of the areas with a thinner ink pen like the teeth and extra lines around here and the tentacles and yeah so I've zoomed in and I'm just going to try and ink these teeth and do any lines sort of in between Inking is your chance just to clean anything up as well. Any design flaws or something, or well, sometimes I just I just wing it and just hope for the best. Illustrations an illustration, and if it goes wrong, yeah, just try and go with the flow. But this hasn't really gone wrong, I don't think. It's just trying to draw lots of the detail. trying to fill out the skull try and add lots of lines just to try and make it look sort of more detailed but you're adding stuff to it These black and white drawings, so I'm not going to colour these ones. I think they're just going to remain black and white. about trying to separate the each um, tentacle just from some of the others and you can do that by adding lots of detail and a bit of shadow here and there seriously make that coffee otherwise I'm gonna start flagging on this <laughs> Try and just finish some darker areas and I can come back to this renewed with a coffee in hand So we'll be drawing that um, Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th drawing the other day. Um, it's made me want to buy all the original movies because uh, I still haven't bought them yet. Um, the classics. I, I don't know my favourite 
of the lot, I think, is number seven, I think. Where is that psychic girl? I just like that one out of all this series, to be honest, because um, she was sort of untouchable, really. <laughs> I mean, I know Jason, like, he can't die anywhere, but it was just, to me, um, having that power of telekinesis and throwing things around with just the thoughts and stuff uh, is the best uh, weapon to have against Jason, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I just like that one, to be honest. I'm sure it was number seven. Yeah. I think number eight was Jason Takes Manhattan. <laughs> that one was that one's still good. Well, in fact, all of them was good. Um, so I'd like to have them on DVD. I've got the latest one, you know, the most recent one. Yeah, I think 2009 was it, or something like that. And that was a fairly good effort, actually. I really liked that one. But the dirt, these remakes and stuff, they don't seem to have the, the same spirit of the originals. Um, I don't know that they try, but there's something just lacking. Like it's only, only for profit sort of things where they do the remakes, and it's you know for money obviously, but um, to try and try and generate money for the older DVDs and stuff like that, which is fair enough, business and all that. But um, some of these remakes add up too much. And the Nightmare on Elm Street one, I didn't really enjoy that one, mainly because the actor wasn't Robert England really. Um, just didn't didn't really work, to be honest. That's why there's been no films since, like no remakes, because there's only one Freddy in my mind, <laughs> and that's Robert England. So. <clears throat> But yeah, I think they're remaking Big Trum Little China with, with The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. I think it's bloody hell. I hope we're going to see that one. You know, they're remaking classics and it's it's not on really. Just to, just for money really. And you, you know it'll be just crap. You know, I mean The Rock's in everything lately and he's, I've, you know, I don't mind him but he's, he's getting in all these movies and stuff and and remaking a classic like Big Trouble Little China is I don't know I don't know what's up what, what's up with like Hollywood at the moment but it's should just create new ideas I mean there are new ideas in films but uh, I just find it annoying so I've done a bit more on this I've darkened a lot of the skull with um, a brush pen and tried to like darken some of the tentacles and things like that and I want to try and make some of them more shadowed within the circle and I've extended some coming out of the circle which I think might be a good idea so I want to darken a lot of this and just see how it goes uh, but first I need to go and get that coffee uh, because it's been nearly two hours I've tried <laughs> now and yeah some breakfast too cheers now <laughs> Just a little update now, I've just added the white like highlights here and there. It um, looks almost like cobwebs and stuff, but it's supposed to be slight slam and stuff around the skull and tentacles. Just have to finish off the tentacles on the outside, make them a bit more um, textured. And just see how that illustration goes, and then on to the next. I need to do that other um, commission, Dr. Freud Stan. <laughs> Cool name, cool film. So I've done a few little bits here and there on this, uh, just finishing up now. Um, some of the tentacles on the outside need a little bit more doing to it, but I can't really do that much more to this. Um, just try and do bits here and there. This. It's like web lands or slam lands, I don't know what they're going to be. Uh, it looks like webs, so I don't know. We'll probably go with webs. 
might look a bit more effective. And notice that I've started to do a few webs on the outside, but just with black. So there's one that just comes through there, and that'll turn white. Um, just about mixing and you know doing bits here and there. I'm not going to go overboard with it, but I think it looks looks quite effective. So I think I'm going to call it a day. I think you know that's the right word phrase of saying that. I was getting mixed up. Anyway. That's the end of the vlog and I'll see you tomorrow. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.